Hey everyone, so we are going to talk about the differences between the top fin dazzle, the three gallon, which is on the right, and then the five gallon, which is on the left here. Uh, yeah, so this will, so we'll go over what the differences are between these two tanks. So of course the first difference is going to be the tank size, which is of course the obvious one. Again, the one on the right is only three gallons, and one on the left is five gallons. Now that also does include the internal filter, the built-in filters in these. So actual usable space, I would say, is take about half a gallon off of them or so. So that, that's me guesstimating that. Uh, so I'd guesstimate you have about two to two and a half gallons of usable space on the Dazzle 3, and about four to four and a half gallons of usable space on the Dazzle 5, and that is actual swimming space. Uh, so that is one thing you also have to consider when looking at these tanks is you do have the built-in filter that does take up some of the swimming room. Uh, it's not that big of an issue on the 5, but on the 3, it definitely eats up usable swimming space, uh, which makes the tank actually a decent amount smaller uh, than, than what you think you're getting when you think of a 3-gallon tank. Let's talk about the actual dimensions now. Now this is going off of PetSmart's website, who of course sells these tanks. So again, we'll start with the three. So the smaller one here, uh, and that is three gallons or 11.3 liters. So according to them, the, the dimensions are 13.4 inches long by 6.85 inches wide and 9.01 inches high, uh, which is 34 by 17.3 by 22.8 centimeters uh, length, 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 width, and height. And then with the five gallon, it is of course five gallons or 18.9 liters total that is again including the internal built-in filter uh, the actual dimensions though again according to PetSmart PetSmart's website it is 16 inches long by 8.58 inches wide and 11.2 inches high height uh, which is 40.6 by 21.7 by 28.4 centimeters length 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 width height uh, so there is a decent difference in dimensions between these two, uh, and of course that is two gallons difference, so you're getting almost two times the space, almost two times the space with the bigger one here. So that is the, that, that's the obvious one, of course, is the size difference. Uh, now both of these do have the seven color changing LEDs. Uh, now the three gallon only has two sets of LEDs, whereas the five has three sets of LEDs, but actually when they're side by side with this, the three gallon actually looks brighter to me uh, when they're on the same color than the five gallon does. Uh, now that's not to say the five gallon looks bad or anything, it's just the three gallon does seem to be a bit brighter in my opinion. Uh, uh, now they both do look very good, and you do again get seven different colors, which is very cool. Now, for each of these, you do get, uh, which I think is really, really cool how they did this, is the silicone in all four corners are different colors, uh, which I find really, really cool. Uh, so you have green, you have uh, orange, you have like a pink, and then the other one is blue. But now the way they have them in here is a little bit different. I'm going to turn on the normal white lights so that way, that way you guys can see this a bit better here. So, and I'm not sure, every, they might do every single tank differently. Uh, so each individual tank might be individually color coded. Uh, but on my five gallon, I have the green and blue up front. And that's like a pinkish purple and then orange in the back. Whereas on the three gallon, I have the pink, pinkish purple. Well, it's more of a pink than an orange actually in the three gallon. And then a purple, uh, those two are up front. And then I have green and blue in the back. Uh, but either way, it, it's very cool how they did different color, four different colors for their silicone. Uh, it goes along with the Diazel uh, name. So I find it really, really cool. And that, of course, goes along with the different color changing LEDs. Now, as far as build quality goes, they do seem to be decent. But I know some people do or have said and have commented that the bombs are kind of a thin plastic. And yeah, that is true. Uh, so... What I've done before in the past on tanks that are small like this is, you know, drain them down a decent amount of way, uh, then move them to a new spot if I want to. I don't know if you want to do that with these tanks, 
uh, the bomb might actually break out on you. But if they're just sitting here like they are now, you're not actually moving them or scooting them or anything like that when they're full of water, you shouldn't have any issue with that. Uh, but the bomb is just a plastic. Uh, so you might want to be careful on that. And then otherwise they are made of glass. And then the back has, you see where the black part is, that is the built-in internal filter. Uh, they're essentially the same. Uh, they have big slits, as you can probably see more on my three gun here. Uh, it has big, whole bunch of big slits for the intake, which means if you have baby fish in here, uh, especially like baby guppies or shrimp, like small shrimp, they might actually get sucked into that. Uh, the filter on either of these is actually fantastic. Uh, you see I have a beta on my 5 gallon here, and then my 3 gallon is going to be getting a beta in just a little bit here. Uh, he's actually acclimating at the moment. Uh, but neither, neither of them are too strong, uh, which is fantastic for a beta tank. And I really would recommend this, either of these for a beta tank, uh, but I would say the 5 is going to be better than the 3, just because of the size difference. Right, now I want to show off the LEDs a bit closer here, so I'm going to blind you all. So you see that on the 3 gallon you have two sets of three LEDs, but I said they are super bright actually. Uh, they actually seem to be, to me, brighter than the 5 gallon. Move my beta over, which actually has three sets of three LEDs. Again, they are, they're nice and bright. They just don't seem to be as bright as a 3 gallon, which is kind of weird, since there's more of them. And both tanks do have the easy change filter on them. This thing here and there. Uh, so you can pop this up. Better to do it with the top off. And you see it'll stop pumping out water. Then you can move it on over and then pop it back down and it'll take out some water for you. Well, it'll keep on taking out water until tank empties or you stop it from doing it. Uh, I personally don't use it. I just do normal water changes with a water siphon. And then last but not least is pricing. So I bought mine when they were both on sale. I would not recommend really either of these if they're not on sale. Uh, the pricing gets pretty crazy. So for the three gallon one, again, one's on the right. It is, it's currently on sale time of this video. And when I bought it, it was on sale and is on sale for 30 bucks, which isn't too outrageous. Uh, since you do get the, again, the, that really cool silicone colors and the, of course, the seven color changing LEDs and also a built in filter. Those are really cool features, I think. Uh, for 30 bucks, I see that's a good deal. Uh, but normally, price it's 50 bucks. I would say no. Wait for it to go on sale if you want to have the three gallon tank. Uh, 50 bucks for me is just too, too expensive. Uh, I think $30 really should be the normal price for this tank for a three gallon tank with these features. Uh, but normal price, again, normal price is actually $50 on sale for $30. And then for the five gallon, it is actually, again, I bought it when it was on sale personally, and it is on sale right now for $40. Again, not too bad uh, for a five gallon tank with all those features in it. Normally priced though is $65.99. Again, that is pretty steep. Uh, I mean, that's that's getting up into like fluval territory on pricing. Uh, so that is crazy. But again, for 40 bucks, I'd say go ahead and buy it. That is a good deal. Uh, but to me, that should be pretty much this normal price for this tank uh, because it does have the color change IDs and the built-in filter. Those are cool features that you would not, they do not get on a normal tank kit. Um, I mean, some people like those, some people don't. And so, I mean, you can go to Walmart and buy yourself a 10 gallon tank for 30 bucks. Or sometimes Pestamar has their own 10 gallon tanks uh, for I think 30 or 40 bucks. So what I'm trying to say is if you get these tanks on sale, I would say, and you really want the color changing LEDs and the built-in filter, uh, I say go ahead and get them when they're on sale. Otherwise, if they're not on sale, I would say get a normal standard tank and you'll get a bigger tank for the same amount of money or even cheaper. Uh, hopefully that was not too confusing. So again, if they're on sale, they're a decent price. If they're not on sale, they're not a good price. And that's in my own opinion. Uh, you guys let me know what you think on that. Uh, yeah, so that is similarities and differences between the three and the five. 
I sadly do not have the 8 gallon, and I do not plan on getting it anytime soon. Um, these I like these two better than the 8, because the 8 is more of a tall tank, and I don't really like tall tanks all of that that much. I'd much rather have a standard looking rectangular tank like these are. Uh, because fish swim back and forth more than do up and down, unless you have like a quarry cat. Uh, yeah, so I recommend these tanks when they are on sale. And I highly recommend getting the 5 gallon over the 3 gallon. Uh, because again, that internal filter does take up some room. So you're left with maybe 2, I'd say about 2.5 gallons of usable space. But even then, it seems small. Uh, whereas on the 5, you get at least 4, 4.5 four gallons of space. So again, I would highly recommend getting the 5 gallon over the 3 gallon. But it is your money. It is still enough room. For a beta, I'm actually going to be putting a beta in the 3 gallon in just a bit here. Uh, but And I would not recommend these when they are not on sale. Because that price is just too steep. And PetSmart itself has, I think, better tanks for less money uh, than what these are. If if they're not on sale. If they are on sale, I say go ahead and get them. If you like, if you like the design and the features that these have over other tanks that do not have these features. Hopefully that made some sense. Thank you guys, as always, very much for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Uh, let me know if you guys buy these tanks, or if not, which tank did you guys buy. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.